Hi, Hi guys. guys! Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA and I'm so sorry about that, but I'm back like I never left. Um, I'm here with another video. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Stephanie and you're very much welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. That means a lot to me. If you're a returning subscriber, hi! How you doing? Okay, so today's video is going to be a story time. I have my family right here with me. This is my sister, Angela. Angela, say hi. Hi, hi. And this is Chuki, my nephew. Chuki, say hi. Hey. Chuki, my car. Vincent. <laughs> okay, so we have a story time because we just, as we want to just like share our experience with you guys, talk a little bit about what we went through. All of us went to private university. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about our experience with private universities here in Nigeria. So we're going to start with Angela since she's the one that created the trend. She's the first one. It was from her that all of us now just followed like she was a she shepherd and we are the sheep. <laughs> she was her. passing the pattern to us. As it just like <laughs> pass it on to you, continue, continue, keep going. <laughs> so Angela, um what how did you even hear about the school that we ended up all going to? Um uh, from a friend. Mm -hmm. I we just graduated <clears throat> and everything. I just went to see my friend and it happened the next day she was actually going to write the exam and I joined her. You joined her to write the exam. Mm -hmm. It's almost similar to my own experience. Mine by then the school was already like in the family. It was almost like the family in university. Almost. Because after her, my other sister went as well. Um, your immediate um, mm -hmm. so junior. Good. Then me, the last, I went there. And mine was... Daddy. Mine was so funny because my dad just said, come, let's go and write interview of the school. I came, I wrote the interview, the next day I started lectures. I never had a chance to come home and prepare, like, nothing. <laughs> I, I, I even thought I would spend one year outside of, like, entering school or something. One year chill, then enter university. Chillers. As in, chillers. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance. Like, it was... This Sunday, I went to the school. Monday, I took interview. Tuesday, I was going for lectures and doing admission at the same time. That's how it was. And, yeah, so that's how, that's how it happened to me. It was like, just come. And there's this course that you're going to do in this university. Bam, bam. That's it. That's how I ended up in that school. And I ended up doing pre-degree. Not even... So, I, there was a chance that I could not even go to the school. I don't even know. And you still went back. And I still went back. And <laughs> still continued. So, my own was like... I wrote CNN... Um, CNN screening exam. Um, for myself, like... I knew that there was no hope. <laughs> so, and I wrote a suit. Then I got a suit civil engineering. But then, my grandparents now allowed me to go to the course of... They say it's for courtist or something like that. So... I ended up going to the private university. I think that was Daddy's that was Daddy's yeah. greatest fear with um, universities. Yeah. They bonded me up. Just like this. I don't know, you know one day car came here. Similar experience. They carried me to the school. They carried me to the school. And I'm sure you didn't and get a chance already, to come back, right? No, Just I didn't continue. come back. They have already bought provision for me. Oh, they bonded you. <laughs> me, they bonded me alone. That provision. They now pro brought provisions later. Because, see, let me tell you, the reason why that thing worked out that way was because my sister was already in school. So, basically, I spent, like, a time in her hostel, like, as, as in, what they call that thing? When you share accommodation. Um, squatting. squatting squatting i sw squatted <laughs> <laughs> i was squatting in her room so and of course she already had like food stuff and everything like it was okay the only thing is i needed like my own stuff but i had to like write a list there and there to give my dad to go home because my mom wasn't even around so i had to write my list if you see how my father was asking me what is this what is this what oh my god it was it was not even funny it was not funny <laughs> Ah, my mom now came back from the travel and was like, where's her daughter? That didn't she just finish writing Nico? How is she already in university? Because that day that I took the interview is the day that I um, checked my Nico result. Nico result was out. I checked it and the printout and print go to the office, admin office. Like it was just rush, rush. It was I didn't I, I didn't understand what was going on, honestly. Okay, so we all went to private university. It was there was definitely a lot of 
parts. Events <laughs> going on in the school. <laughs> a lot of, whoa, is that what we do here? <laughs> oh, is that how they do it? <laughs> so, what was, what would you say, Angela, what would you say was your, um, like, most eye-opening experience? In university, it was the cooking. Oh, okay. Cooking, traumatizing. The distance, your hostel then where you're supposed to like carry your pots your ingredients and everything too that was like and when you get there and you're like you forgot your salt like uh, you're you like you forget salt. what the yeah, hell it happens it, it happens. happens you have to organize, organize yourself. Keep yourself well after those all those silly silly <clears throat> two mistakes i actually had a, a basket a basket keep everything inside. everything inside even your your stove you keep mm -hmm. it in a way that you can just carry, carry, the bag carry and this go. and yeah, and it, 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 it helped me make friends because by the time you realize you forgot your salt and your distance you're like asking the next person hi please can i borrow your salt sister. and they remember it for that no, saying hi sister. Sister. sister sister and they remember you for that the I girl that borrowed my salt i think that was only in girls who still boys who still i heard so many stories that people used to carry spoons in their pockets and used to steal food, food. you'll like be, you be cooking you'll be cooking outside your room like you want to go inside for maybe bring another spice you come back you know see your food and you are saying how can you forget your sauce <laughs> yeah, your sauce yeah? so no, you need your spice is inside the room now no you used to come out with everything so you don't stay in front just of see your door the door of your room then outside no, we are not allowed we were not allowed to in front because of, of doors we had a kitchen that was no. like why fire. they why they did this because if it catches fire no there was actually a hostel that caught fire my time yes mm. me that too. actually me too. Even the electricity, that's why yeah. people don't charge Their sockets not inside the room. So, yeah, so there's a lot of, there was a lot of things like you get used to some stuff in your house, like charging in your room, there's socket, there's lights. Of course, when they, when they take the light, there's no light, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the so called private university, there was no light during the day, it was only yes, at night nice. time. And there's no socket in your room. We had a charging, you had a charging, center. charging center. So, those kind of things, you had a charging center. We and had you sit holding your phone. You sit holding your phone. We, there are things like charging box where you lock your box or your laptop <laughs> inside. There are things like if they take the lights in the morning, because normally they have time for the light to go off during the day. You see everybody rushing mm. and running to go and get their phone immediately because it's <laughs> moving. The real owner will disappear. It. As they will take the whole box with your extension. And that's another thing, extension, the concept of you plug extension to extension to extension to extension to extension, 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 and to keep going, then one will blow, then NASA blowing, boom, 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 like dynamite. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even mention uh, my own experience, well, hmm. I think it was just being like, coming into the school and then they just give you, you have to get this rule book, then you not read through the rule book and then you not find out all the things you cannot do. Like no double earring. Me, I had um double um no, yes, sorry yes. more than more than two piercings on my ear. So already that was I know I there was one time after like sports one horror. That's another thing horror. Your fellow student or that is feeling like she's the president or he's the president or something. They will tell you to remove your earring or you give it to them. They will throw it away in front of you. Um, if you are wearing okay, one time they says they said don't wear jumpsuits. Don't wear sleeveless with blazers. You have to wear full sleeve clothes. Mm -hmm. Like there were so many rules and regulations, and it was just like, what? I don't understand. We don't even. Do, we don't. I'm like, this is this is not investing now. This is not universal knowledge that we're getting here. Like it's so. Like the experience was terrible. So my own was um, when we moved to the engineering side. You know, we came with boss and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was at night. Oh. Next thing we got down from the bus, they told all of us to like line up. Mm. You are not shiny touch on all of our business. <laughs> I was not confused. The next thing I saw them chain someone's chain, like chain on the neck. Neck. I was like, ah. And I said, let me move my own. Let me be no, a good boy. good boy. I was removing it too. I was looking for the hook. Next thing he now reached my toe. I was telling him, calm down, I want to remove it. <laughs> we are talking anyhow. I told him, calm down, I want to remove it. He now looked at me somewhere, now dragged it out of my neck. Mm. Oh my god, I was pissed. Like, my first experience yes. in the engineering side, I was pissed. They now find such toast and allowed us to go inside. Next thing, I was still arranging my box and everything. Next thing, I hear this light out. <laughs> Everybody on top of your bunk. 
I was confused. I was not. I not tapped one of Military the seniors. Camp. I was not like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, you're new. It's lights out to that you have to be on top of your bunk. Like if if you're not on top of your bunk, you mop the whole way. And Jeez. you see how long this hallway is. Jeez, my I cried that night actually. Do you know what you just said made me to remember something? Like I was in one campus and I had to change to another campus. And we arrived on the day that they were doing there's this weekly adoration that they do. So the bus came in when the whole school was was filled up the adoration gown and we all came down from the bus. Yeah, people were looking at us and I was praying, hey, fresh, fish, fresh, fish. <laughs> He just made me to remember that scene. And we came and we had to now join them with the adoration. We don't even know how the adoration is going. We don't know anything. We're just sitting down there, like building blocks, not doing anything, not understanding what was going on. Just made me to remember it. Like that same boss something. Uh, the worst part about engineering was like, it would be like a hundred level twice. Because you change campus. Campus, yeah. yeah. You'll not be new to the new pretty, environment. That's like my own experience, pre degree, and then entering into 100 level. And when we entered into 100 level, we were, we were, we were adjusted very well somehow to the whole lifestyle. That mm. we're not feeling like we were old students. And if you see the mistakes that I made, me personally, I don't even know where my lecture halls were. I don't even know <laughs> who, my, who, were my, who were my fellow as in 100 level students. No, my, my time, there were less. Um, classes, mm -hmm. so it wasn't hard. She, 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 so she, she. I was answered, at the beginning. Yeah, when the school so was new, new and somewhere. smaller, smaller. So the finding your lecture hall wasn't really hard. Yeah. yeah. You know when my lecture no, was, was hard, man. There was even some. Very, very Sorry, in the beginning there were some some lectures I missed. I was like, I cannot stress myself. Let's <laughs> go no. see somewhere uh -uh. else. They are Honestly, I don't know where. First and foremost, this teach, teach no, no, that school. was your time. That was your time. They never. This should not mm. still. No, we are all mixed up. People had different times mm -hmm. for classes, so. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that that thing was going to start because a lot of people were spending time in the hostel. Yeah. The people spend a lot of time yeah. in the hostel. Uh, JC, if you don't come out on time, you mop. <laughs> you have mm -hmm. to mop. No, going for the to me then going for lecture was kind of fun because that was yeah. the only time we could even interact with the boys. Yeah, that's another friends. thing. So it was we, we got we got ready. So you want to interact with boys? Yes, you can be in the hostel talking to a girl. Are you going to marry your fellow woman? So that was the only time we could see the boys talk. Actually, sit near a boy without having issue and problem. Maybe even hold hands under the table. Yes, yeah. so yeah, kind of we are having an issue. All those kind of things will just lead you to where where we end up. That where house. do you need? <laughs> no, like, I want okay. Post. Okay. You see how all of us are sitting here, coincidentally we're wearing black. Let's oh say gosh. we were just strolling to our lecture hall and they saw us, you're gone. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can't fill out a uh, form for panel, they'll ask you questions. Why are I'm you wearing black. black? Are you in a court? court? Is Who is mm. your court members? Where do people normally meet? <laughs> even if you say no, you're a courtist. You're a courtist. <laughs> See, yeah. you cannot even maintain eye contact. <laughs> you must maintain eye contact when they're talking to you. But if you are you your face. Mm. You, you, if, if possible, be smiling all the time, time. and be walking. Because if you have a frown on your face, it's an issue. Yeah. Why are you frowning? Yeah. That I you're 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 being hardened. Okay. All those kind of things. So there are plenty of rules and regulation, like so many. But I feel like it was worse for the guys more than the girls. Yeah. Nobody. It was the, very the, bad. the painful one. It was in my three hundred level when they banned camera phones. Okay, yeah. Uh, by, by the time I entered, was, that school, one was, was already a, a known fact, no camera phone. At that period, it, no uh, funny enough, phone. at that period, there was nothing fun about a phone except texting, calling. Okay. But taking pictures was kind of like our thing. There was phone. Facebook then, now, right? No, uh, it was in my final it's year when Facebook go. came out. It was to go, and I didn't, <laughs> to really, go. I didn't really enjoy to go, and we had bad network to talk more of internet. Mm. So there was no internet. internet to do so it was just text message and phone call. My and time. Surprisingly enough, they will still give you all these like ten pages um, assignments. Assignment to do, and to do. I don't know how. Uh, laptop no. Lab what? We didn't have internet. <coughs> no, we had laptop. laptop. There's even one laptop time they wanted to ban laptop. Say that yeah. we're watching movie too much. Too much. How? Nah, I didn't mean that. Nothing else to do. What, what, what I what I had in school then was a DVD. A DVD, small oh, okay. DVD player. Yeah, uh, yeah, so watch, she, 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 I was watching <laughs> movies. Very, very lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. It was a DVD I was watching movies then. You that was enjoying. the one thing I enjoyed most. And I had a, a friend. Let me not mention her. She do, if she watches this, she does herself. She was the the person that got us CDs oh. and everything. We watched CDs like okay. crazy. CD plates. Yeah. CD plates. Funny enough, the people I brought Compact into this. the school are plenty. They are 
plenty, many friends followed me at the back. <laughs> what, what kind of laugh was that? Second? It was fun. Then, so honey, we didn't talk about the bathroom. Ah, uh, no. the hostel. Oh my God, hostel. Mm. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just let's give. Let's just give ourselves a moment of silence of the time that we cringe so much. Mm. Let's just... You have no idea when you're used to you're comfort. in your house, fan comfort, AC, and all that, Fun. and then you have this in toilet. You know, I'm talking about your room. Then a good system toilet. Oh, it's, it's such it's such an eye opener. You, you let your, things like you, you have you, to you, get you take small. your bath and you leave a few water in the bucket. So you can rinse your leg when so you're you done. Leg, when you reach then, your destination, you also keep <laughs> water, water to flush. And then mm -hmm. you can't go up and down wearing a toy. You can't yeah? talk. No, you can't. That, that one you squat down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You climb and you squat. You, squat you down. can't wear a towel. I'm um, like around. around here. You have to, We're like, supposed to dress wear up in sheds the or wear some kind of like something that will just cover um, cover up your not shoulders or something. I think that will also be this time. I'm not sure it's like that now. And then, okay, so going to a private university taught me into things like short put, cleansing bowl, <laughs> um, cleansing ground, cleansing ground, um. <laughs> Really what patience. patience. It taught us patience. It, so funny. It taught us, yes, that one, yes. And it taught patience. Like, patience to join us and then standing in line very well. Uh, I can stand Sister, in line. Sister, I'm after you. Sister, when is your turn? You call me. Uh, <laughs> you people, did you people experience procession? What's procession? No, they, that, they yeah. never forced us for what it. What was the Sessions church. of the cross and all that. They don't, oh, they, 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 did force, well, they did force us. Yeah, but church was church was Church compulsory. became compulsory. At, when yeah. I first entered, it wasn't compulsory because yeah. I remember yeah. some so Sundays man, I man missed. Then legs. after some time, it became it became <laughs> so <laughs> compulsory that it was so bad. Then what? How got my heartbreaking point of the school was mm. when they stopped Jelabia. No, 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 Jalabia was they allowed during my time. We should call, they should call they it they adoration they, gown. They, they stopped us from wearing it to what? church. They said, okay, every, yes, yes, to church. They said it yeah. was nightwear, and I had it like you need in, to wear for adoration. I had so. it in all colors. That was like my Sunday go to mm -hmm. throw it in and go. And we don't use to bath, you just uh, yeah, stroll out of your bed to go to the church. church. That's the best thing. And, but and me, go. initially, I used to, I used to. No, for the degree, I, I, I used to dress up everything. to go. Well, when we entered, I think when we entered like final year, that's when everything just stopped. Jeez. Came careless. Not too, not as bad as when Jalabia yeah. to church. No, I wore Jalabia to church. That was I was the chief that. For was that. mostly for no, adoration. I could not, I never did that one. The night before, the, the Jalabia would be hanging on my bunk. So that did you remember? Yeah. You went to see baby. You throw them. At the point, I had only one clothes for church because we are going to church back to back, back. To, every wow. day. Why? Like 6 a.m., you wake you up, go to church, you come back, wow. 12, you go to oh, church again. You that. come back, 4 o'clock, you go back to church. Why? And you won't go back, that 4 o'clock one, you won't go back to like around 2 a.m. You guys were, they must have thought uh, you guys were sinners then. I swear. <laughs> Who are they okay. the demons? Okay, that's another thing. One thing about um the private university is that it's a bit closed. And we're all like locked up. We only have ourselves to entertain. So one of the things that I know that I, that we all, I think, I think almost everybody did it. We engaged in gossip a lot. We were very competitive. Compet ah, mm. please English supply the thing. English. Yes, I failed English. <laughs> supply the word I'm looking for. What is it? Competitive. Yes, we were very that. <laughs> <too. You get laughs> Pronounce it. Compet compet we. <laughs> Competitive, competitive. Yeah, we're very competitive in all this. Like, what's this one wearing? What's this one doing? And I'm not even sure that anybody was competitive in terms of academics. <laughs> no, in know. my own, in my own time, when the clothes aspect was not a thing because it was a thing in my. Time. I know how many times I've gone to like, lecture with bathroom slippers, mm. like, and a pair of jeans because the school mm. was like. The school was like you're spoiling your good shoes there. Okay, yeah, some people had so, that mindset. Like definitely we we, are, we we kept had, our good shoes for when we signed had, exit and we're heading out. But I had roommates that would be like, Why are you bothering yourself dressing up like this for lectures? It was like what's the point? And in my own time, in my own time, mm -hmm. see the hostel, see the lecture no, hall. So it's like you're just walking from here to the gate and you're like, What what am I 
So I had my jeans, my t shirt, and sometimes oh, I was just just saying, yeah. no camera phone Regina wasn't allowed. So we still came in with our camera phone. No, pictures. we had we had was one of these guys that took pictures for us. I had very good Genesis. pictures. Genesis. Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> He had very good pictures. They yeah, cost me into my own phone. No, definitely. But I collected it back. No, no, no. My own was I plugged it to charge. I brought. I went. The the charging center was directly behind my hostel. I went back in to get a chair to sit down. Okay. Next thing, I came back to the place, and what did I see? Everybody outside, and all the hall reps were inside. You know, charging center. Well, yeah. Okay, so another thing because life. we were all life, I never got you back. Oh, my sweet Samsung. <coughs> okay, so another thing about the closed environment is that you need to take permission to go out. So that was another eye opener. Me, I wasn't really bothered because one, I'm an indoor person. My parents did not allow me to go out. The concept of going out was not your thing. Not my thing. But the minute you tell me I cannot go out, that's when it became my thing. Honestly, like you needed to go. Like out. I don't understand that whole you stay yeah, ha, stay in tough. every day. No, it was hard for me, Chuki. I felt the same thing. You but at least you came out. I know. Come out to any so, so you need something called exit. You uh, need to get exit. So that was another thing that was book. somehow like an eye opener. And then always you had like pieces of paper because you need to write it like a proper letter addressing it to whoever is in charge no, of the exit. No, had to be a book. Mm. And before they sign the new one, they have to see the old one. So we used to have so the papers, when they, when papers in our bag for whenever they, we get the chance. Whenever they say they are signing exit, you just run with your paper already written and everything your excuse is there and your excuse has to be very creative because if you come there with a very simple straightforward excuse you might not they just bounce you there to go. and your location what are you going out for what are you going out for you can stay here. <laughs> your location your parents, very rude. Your location your parents, let them come. what made me really angry was the fact that i had some uh roommates or hall mates mm -hmm. hmm? hostel mates sorry that were married each time they will come for exit to go and see their husband or see their kids, they will have to present their uh, marriage certificates, mm. probably their wedding photo and all that stuff, like each time. Because if you're married, you're not given any special privilege. Okay, you have to yeah. be there in the school. You have to just tell your husband, bye bye, and stay in the school. So that's it. So you have to be in the school. There's no <laughs> special privilege for you. If you're Funny enough, there's some parents you can that forfeit, like that you can go out. School was school was definitely yeah, for parents. That school is for anyway. We still exactly we went down. We were five seconds. We survived, my dear. We survived. <laughs> okay, so that was our experience in a private yeah. university. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, please. and um, please subscribe for more. Click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. I hope you are, hope when you are watching this thing, you didn't skip my ads. Like. Why would you do that? I said, why would you do that? That is your crime. Please don't skip my ads. Please, I'm begging you. Don't skip my ads. And also... Let them share the video. Oh, yeah. Please share my videos. Okay, share my videos. I keep forgetting to say that thing. Please share my videos. It means a lot to me when when people share my videos. It's so Comment on that. Comment on that. Like, talk about your own experience. Did you go to, like, a federal university? Did you go to a state university? university? Did you go to a private university? That, 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 all that stuff. Just let me know. I would like to know in the comment section. So, till next time. Bye. Bye. Tell me.